Uh, fuzzy pickles. Okay. Welcome to Subnautica Part 3. I know you're probably wondering, um, what happened to Part 1, Jeff, and Part 2? Uh, tragic stupidity on my part, really. Um, today I'm just going to be giving you a... <clears throat> Excuse me. Still sick. That's why you're just getting a voiceover. A, uh, feel for what the game is. This is my sea moth. This is my second sea moth. My first sea moth died in a tragic Leviathan accident. Um, <laughs> I wandered into a spot where I shouldn't have been. Uh, basically, when you start out in Subnautica, all you have is the life pod to start with. And your I the idea behind it is you have to go out and collect items um, such as titanium, which you can get from broken parts from the wrecked ship. Um, you can also occasionally uh, find deposits that will give you or titanium or gold or silver or diamonds and other such goodies you can also pick up lithium um, magnesium and something else uh, salt deposits and these all go towards making things that you need for the game it is a laborious task uh, somewhat similar to Minecraft in that um, a lot of your time is spent crafting things like right here I'm gonna pick this up that is pieces of the wrecked ship that we came in on the Aurora that was shot out of the sky by a giant gun which at some point in time I will show you that too if I can get past the spot with the stupid sea leviathan without getting killed I don't know how I got there the first time because I just swam it instead of using this. Yeah. Wonders will never cease. Okay, what you're seeing right there is the tentacles of the Leviathan trying to grab onto me. It sounds terrifying, and it is. You can just see it there in the distance. There are much larger things here. That is tiny by comparison to some of the stuff that you'll get into later in the game. Your best bet when you come across one of those is to get out of its territory as quickly as possible, which is what I am doing now. Finding another space place to mine for things. Um, those little yellow clouds that some fish are pushing out are toxic. Even with your air tanks and suit, it can still kill you. So when they go out, you wait. And now, we'll go out and we will hit this limestone deposit and see what it gives us. Uh, I believe it gave us titanium. Uh, as I record this voiceover, it's very hard to see the screen. It's very small. So I just have to kind of try to remember what I picked up and what I did not. I have actually recorded uh, this uh, is today's episode and there's that little booger again he will kill me if I don't get away from him he grabs you and just shakes the crap out of you until your sea moth falls apart and that's a bad thing because you really it's a really useful little device to have uh -huh. Especially when oxygen is kind of limited underwater. And this thing seems to have an unlimited supply. Uh, 
occasionally you have to change the power cells on it um, and you have to repair it because you know I'm a crappy driver I tend to run into things a lot and then every time he hits you it damages it also excuse me pardon me for the sounds there hit the headphones I was scratching my head I got uh, a proper set of uh, headphones for the Xbox that actually have things going in the right ears and a microphone to on which to record um, like I said I would have done camera but I'm just I look like crap I feel like crap and that's too much effort to sync up right now so there's that and you take those wreckage pieces and that's how you make titanium in our fabricator um, I have tried to keep things as neat as possible and I I will name some of the lockers according to what I'm putting into them like this is a titanium locker each piece of wreckage gives you four pieces of titanium and the limestone pieces give you one and that locker is now full um. Here in a few seconds it will occur to me that I need to make another locker for titanium, but I don't. <laughs> I think I just did. Uh, maybe. I know I made another locker, I'm just not sure when I did. Uh, I'm looking at it, yeah. I'm going to make the locker now because I just realized that I have a piece of quartz. You need two titanium and quartz to make one of the lockers. Not sure why you need the quartz, but whatever. So you get to see a locker being made. Exciting, huh? Now, in future videos, I will try to keep to recording just the exciting bits when I'm actually exploring areas unknown and uh, finding new parts and finding new places. Um, I've already been to the alien base that has the gun on it and got into there. Um, I'm waiting to make a weapon that will kill the little crab doohickeys so that I can get on the ship without being killed because they are awful little creatures um, at this point my mind is not real clear so I wasn't thinking about the fact that I need to make that um, like I said, on some of the lockers, you'll see I renamed them. I will rename the ones that are going to be just one thing to what it's going to be. And obviously here I am moving really slowly. And there goes the dog flapping her head. Because she likes to be annoying. I don't know how good the microphone is on this thing. This is a life pod that uh, I landed in. Every once in a while it just falls apart and you have to get the repair tool out and fix it. I'm not sure why. You'd think once you fixed it, it would just stay fixed. But it does not. Uh, all those little lockers there, they're supposed to be placed outside, but I placed them inside just because I didn't want to forget where I put them. I don't actually use them anymore. They're just kind of there. Um, one thing in this game, nighttime is bad. Nighttime is very, very bad. It is not a time to be out exploring. So I tend to either stay in my sea moth or go back into my uh, life pod or habitat there and just wait it out because lots of bad little creatures come out at night and I don't know if it's true or not but it seems like things get more aggressive at night and there seem to be a lot more of them one of my greatest joys is to sail my sea moth into a 
big group of uh, <laughs> or that into a big group of fish so you can hear them thumping on the side as you run them over okay this this segment is about over so I'm going to say let's go back to the real world about now okay I hope you enjoyed the uh, the game video um, like I said future future uploads will be a little bit more exciting and have a little bit more to them um, I am still feeling really bad so not much FaceTime on it I would have put the face cam in there but it's just it's a lot of editing effort and I don't feel up to it so everything's just straight through clips and honestly I don't even know how good this is gonna sound I won't until I play it back hopefully it doesn't suck too bad <laughs> if not you're gonna have a video clip of total crap it is what it is, right? Anyway, it's all gonna be. That's gonna. Be. Take two. <laughs> God. That's gonna be all for today. So I'm gonna say peace. Rock on. See you tomorrow, hopefully.